Studies show a daily soda habit may take a toll on overall health. It may even shorten your lifespan. If that doesn't motivate you, maybe this will. Soda can cause tooth decay, pain. It can literally rot your smile. It happened to our next guest. After 30 years of drinking soda, my teeth are rotting out. They're missing. They're falling out. And I need it to change. I've been drinking soda since I was in high school. At first, I was drinking two or three sodas a day. First thing in the morning, I have a cup of coffee. After that, it's soda all day. I drink soda in the car when I'm watching TV. When I'm working at my desk, I have soda, and I sit there and drink it. I drink about five or six cans of pop a day. Five years ago, my teeth were fine. I didn't know that there was a problem with them. And then I lost my dental insurance. I haven't been to a dentist since. Now, all of a sudden, I'm having all kinds of problems with my teeth. It started out gradual, and then it just really got worse over the last couple years. My teeth started breaking off, and now it's down into the nerves where I'm constantly in pain. The last three months have been completely unbearable, no sleep, earaches, nerve pain all the way down into my jaw bones. Can't eat. I was sitting during a cup of tea and when my teeth broke off. My husband is to the point where he's tired of seeing me depressed all the time. I refuse to smile. I refuse to get my picture taken because I don't like my smile. I don't think I'm pretty anymore. They used to have a beautiful smile. And now I don't. I believe this could have been avoided had there have been proper warnings about how bad soda was for your teeth. And it sucks to feel this way. I should be living my best life right now. Joining us now is Letha, along with dentist Dr. Sean Motoshami. And Letha, I want to ask you something, and, and I want you to really think about this, because most of us think is, of soda as a bad habit. Are you, is, for you, is it more than that? Are you a addicted to soda? It's an addiction for sure. Um, I've been drinking soda since I was in high school and it's a go-to. And when I tried to stop drinking soda, it was like I got headaches and lightheaded. And so I just went back to it. It's interesting because Dr. Sean's sit sitting next to you and I'm thinking the combination of coffee and soda first thing in the morning and you as a dentist, I, I, I'm sure your, your head is spinning thinking, gosh, the amount of acidity that your enamel is exposed to first thing in the morning all the way through the remainder of the day. Have you experienced in your practice a, a lot of cases like this where people are just so addicted or have such a bad soda habit that what, what is happening to Letha's teeth is happening to them as well? I have. I actually see that on a daily basis. I see patients every week. Uh, the soft drink consumption is on the rise in all demographics, but especially in teenagers and uh, children. And it's the double whammy of the acidity, wearing away the enamel, and then the sugars and the soda, which then the bacteria get in there. It's the worst combination, yeah. And it, it's not just regular soda, it's diet soda as well that can cause a problem, right? Diet is slightly better because there's less sugar, but it's, it's just as bad almost. And I want to demo this because obviously, Letha, when you, when you look in the mirror, you're reminded of the damage that's happened, right? And it didn't happen overnight. But I think a demonstration will help identify what is going on in your mouth. And the acidity from this soda can linger in your mouth for about 20 minutes. And so let's just pretend this is the enamel of your tooth. The acidity of these drinks literally over time wears away that enamel. So slowly over time, as you're continuing to consume soda, other acidic beverages, that enamel gets worn away. And once you wear that enamel away, it's gone forever. And I, and I think that's what you're experiencing 